Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, it's oil eye number 14. Yeah, number 14. Woohoo! We're doing well. We're on 14 days of painting. Uh, we had a whole lens there, didn't we? Yeah, we had problems yesterday with the footage. <laughs> and we had problems with the tennis ball footage. I'm gonna have to paint that one again because the footage was wrong. But never mind. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> The uh, camera had issues, but you know, never mind. Uh, we will do this one and we've, we should be okay, shouldn't we, Smidge? Yeah, yeah, we should be okay today. Um, we've been uh, looking at bugs in the garden. We like bugs, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like bugs. And we like looking at them and taking pictures of them close up. It's amazing how good you, um, my phone is at <laughs> doing close ups, isn't it, Smidge? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's get cracking on this one because uh, let's be honest, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> We've done another day's work and we're gonna do another painting. So why, why do all these paintings? What, what, what's going on? I'm kickstarting myself in a way. I'm, uh, what shall I use the outside color as? Green maybe. Yeah, so on the palette so far, I'm gonna use more color I can see, uh, but I've got titanium white, uh, cadmium orange, cadmium orange hue, uh, ivory black, and sap green, and we're probably gonna need a yellow by the look of it, and maybe a blue, maybe, maybe, don't know. We'll find out as we paint. So I think I'll use a bit of, maybe I'll use orange. I just wanna do a very simplistic sketch of the, uh, of the ladybird. And this, this is an exciting ladybird because it's the opposite, it's not, uh, orangey or reddish with black spots. It's black with orange spots. That was exciting for me to see. <laughs> I think I've seen something like this before, but it's still exciting. So I'm gonna sit back like this. So I can see uh, what I'm doing and I hold my brush far away. And I start marking stuff out now. Looking at where the head is how much space there is for the uh, body from the side of the canvas. Something like that anyway, about there. And then how big is it? About that. So about there. And then see if we can create the shape of the Ladybird, ladybug, whatever you want to call it. I call them ladybirds, so we'll go with ladybird. And uh, they've been on my plants, eating black fly by the look of it. I think that's what they were doing. Because I saw one of them and it was. Uh, it was attacking the black fly nest. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying uh, <laughs> looking at wildlife. And small wildlife as well. The bugs, the bugs. It opens up another avenue for me. Painting bugs. <laughs> I, for some reason, I always think of uh, that Michael Jackson movie, Moonwalker, where they turn turn the globe around and it's covered in spiders. <laughs> and I, I always think, uh, think about that part of the movie. And I say bugs. And then they go, bugs in track, bugs in track, smooth operation. <laughs> Something like that anyway. 
Mm, so, how are we doing here? How are we doing? It's going to be quite a hard shape. Uh, we're getting there though. I can see. I can see. I can see. Yeah. Uh, we can always do our usual trick though at the end. Throw the reference picture away. Don't let anyone see it. <laughs> They won't know the difference. <laughs> so let's have a look at the orange bit. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Probably there, I guess. About there, that's where the spots are. About there anyway. And then there's that white bit. Not the white bit, it's where the light was uh, hitting. Uh, that's kind of like there. Oh, it looks almost like a map or something. And then we've got a light on there which we can we'll put in when we start putting the paint in. But I think we're getting close to the shape. Not bad, not bad at all. Probably the middle part. So then there's the head. That's about there. And about there, I think. Let's just measure that to see if we're about right. Sort of there. We'll get there, we'll get there eventually. A bit of a, a leg there, I think. And, uh, <sighs> mm, yum, 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 yum. So, sitting back, having a look, seeing if we're getting close to the shape. I think we're pretty close. Obviously, we're not exactly there yet. Let's just uh, wash that brush. Some of my dirty water. <laughs> Yesterday's. Oh, probably just did that. Yeah, yesterday's water. Rips. Someone didn't wash their brushes again. It's 
like the washing up. <laughs> My motivation to do it is really small. <laughs> right, considering what to do first. I'm thinking to do the orange first. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Just get in there. Okay, well this orange, straight away you can see, whoa, too bright. So I think a bit of white. White or then lighten the orange. <laughs> I was trying to think of something technical to say, but I had nothing. <laughs> uh, so what we got here? Well, it's pretty close. I think it's slightly different, though, isn't it? I think it's got a little bit of brown in it. Okay, let's get some burnt umber. Burnt umber to the rescue. A little blob of burnt umber. Just thought, am I recording this? Am I gonna have another recording disaster? <laughs> I really need to bolster my equipment a little bit. <laughs> Never mind. Save up. So let's uh, use a bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber in with this orange. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, getting closer. It's probably more orange than that. Bit of burnt umber and orange. That's really, really close now. There's kind of a, uh, a soft red going on there as well. So what's going on with my microphone? Maybe that's better. Yeah, we'll, 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 oh god, we're so close. Just not quite, not quite. Slightly too light, I think that's what it is. Now we're not brown enough. Mm, that's really close now. It's only very slightly out. So that's good enough for me. So let's have a look at this. Um, I'm tempted to use my ruler. Let's just look at this a sec. The outside of the image to there. Outside of the image to there. It's here, isn't it? And that goes in line with the white. Makes it look like this orange is actually here. Okay, and then uh, put some over here as well. Slightly lighter than that, isn't it? Well, it's light there. It's light there. And then it's a bit more orange.
we need to change anything we can do but either way it's fine I think we'll just start blocking in these orange areas see if we can get them close to that colour looks like it's got a touch of yellow in it about right there. I'll do, yeah, that will do. And then this one over here, it's just look like it's in the right place. Over there. Yeah, it looks about right. And let's do that shape. That goes down here. Okay, I like this one. About right. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I looked at the footage of the tennis ball and I was like, no. <laughs> but I did the painting. That's not my challenge isn't over, luckily. I did the picture. It's just I had technical issues with my camera. But it'll be alright. So we can always do that lesson again and then yesterday issues again with my uh, painting that just kind of happened <laughs> some of it got cut out bit annoying but what can you do these things happen aren't they As long as my good episodes don't get destroyed. <laughs> so I've got some really good ones, which I'm really happy about. The interesting ones that people should get something out of, I'm hoping. And uh, I've got a lot out of them <laughs> myself. Uh, this is one of the main reasons for doing paintings really is to improve as a painter and I am feeling like I'm improving. You'll notice that it does take time to do a, a decent picture. I can't really get away with doing uh, all half hour paintings because the problem with that is the level of work won't be quite high enough for uh, progression for uh, for you to progress as you watch for me to progress as I paint so I need a bit of red because there's a bit of red in this and then this black um, bit start putting in some of these dark areas and then some of the white well do we put in the white first or well, the white it's more of a gray look at that it's not pure white it's sort of grayish uh, maybe we'll do two brushes <laughs> always works and um, what are we doing Oh yeah, that red bit. I might use a smaller brush. Let's 
So let's see how red it actually is. It's quite a reddish, reddish glow. Let's go a bit of black. Something like that. So what we'll do is we'll put some little sort of melt into certain areas. I like uh, doing these paintings. <laughs> so much fun painting these like wildlife pictures. They are a challenge, but it's great when you uh, see it start to come together. I'll do. So now we need what I think I'm going to go for is that greenish black there. It goes a long way. So we need another brush. I might use a soft brush. So we've got a bit of green, a bit of green, a bit of black. I think there's yellow in that. Cad yellow. So I'm using a mixture of brushes, watercolour brushes, and this is a Cotman watercolour brush, but it's nice and soft. A bit more yellow. Use the yellow to lighten this green, which gives that green and black. Oh, look how close that is. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look. So we need to get that shape. Something like that. And then it goes round like that. It goes to there. as well. A bit of this yellow. a little bit lighter by the look of it and this yellow colour mm. it's about right for this now then this is in the wrong place isn't it these are the issues my ruler. <laughs> Got my old broke from ruler. <laughs> Interesting. 
That's this that's in the wrong place. It's not quite uh, there. About that bit. Seven. That's right. Seven and a half. Oh, that's right. Forty and a half, fifteen. So that bit's wrong. So let's use this wet wipe and uh, go. Okay. Use a bit of paper. <laughs> putting all this effort in okay so we'll have a go at this shape I'll do. We'll sort that out. So then is this in the right place then? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's good. That is good. Wipe this brush. Put that roll in there a second. And then I think what I'll do is I'll uh, put some black in. So my pure black is not black enough. Like <laughs> I showed you this on another episode. It's ivory black, and you hold it in front of the black of the paper. And my paint isn't black enough. Uh, isn't that weird? Oh, let's just uh, make sure we've got that light in the right place as well. Fifteen. Oh, spot on. Yeah, spot on. Okay, let's get some of this black in there. It'll be, this ladybird will be a different ladybird, <laughs> you'll see. We won't get it exact, but we could get it pretty close if we uh, use the ruler and, get, and really focus on uh, getting it spot on, but I don't want to spend more than yeah, an hour-ish. Slightly off colour, so let's do that. Like that. Yeah, it's more like that. Oh. <laughs> for areas that aren't exactly black. Okay, so 
filling this in. Start watching it sort of uh, build up now. I like this part. <laughs> I like it when it starts to look like it's uh, coming together a bit. like a, uh, a line there, I don't know how to use that. Is a map? <laughs> it does look like a map, strangely enough. Just sitting back, having a look. black in. <laughs> Sorry this is probably uh, a little bit boring I don't know because <clears throat> I'm trying to do a good job and uh, I don't want to bodge it up too much. <laughs> so I'm focusing and then uh, just filling in, filling in, filling in and then what we can do is start looking at the areas that Changing. No, that has got a bit too big now. But 
It's good to see uh, people do paintings like this, isn't it? To show you their process, see what they do, and then you can uh, pick up, take what you want, <laughs> and uh, leave anything that you didn't didn't really want to do. I do that all the time when I'm learning. Evaluate in your head. Ask yourself, is that right? Should I do it like that? Do I have another way of doing it? Could I do it better? Let's get some white. Like this grey colour. This is some grey bits here. And I'm sort of thinking as it mixes with the black. It's going to change a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it being off colour. Mm -hmm. I want to put a bit of light in here as well. Right, let's make that white colour. like there's a little bit little bit just a little bit of blue in there a tiny bit of blue in there I think a little bit of blue a little bit of grey a little bit of blue just a little bit of blue there we go ultramarine blue Too dark, slightly too dark. Some white in that. It's slightly yellowy, mine is. So I think we need a tiny bit of red. Let's try it with that red. slightly too dark now <laughs> but I think we'll be pretty close now when we uh, check it again I'm still slightly too <laughs> slightly too yellow Oh, that'll do. <laughs> we can keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Let's get it exact. I just want it about right. Uh, we're, we're just not blue enough. I think that's what it is. Throwing some more blue in. Have a look at that. That's well close now. Yeah, that'll do. Been in it forever otherwise. Let's get this colour in. We can make it lighter than this. Wipe off that black that's polluted our white. Well, our light colour, I should say. It seems to have got awfully dark all of a sudden. Something like 
this. Okay. Now we need to fill in that black. So let's use. I've got paint on and I'm going to use them. No, oh, I'll do. Let's get some of that black. If we can create those little wiggles. to be more orangey white of course bit of white in here as well. And a bit there. And a bit here. Okay, sit back, have a look. It's coming on, it's coming on. I want to uh, put in the head, get that head in there. So we've got it here. black in there. One part here goes to like the measuring that bit uh, to that. It's about right. It looks about right anyway. I think when we start putting in the uh, other areas it will start to look a bit better. Is this white okay? That's better. And so this goes to there, to about there. Okay. And this goes. 
those two about there, so about there. And then there's this bit of white there. Okay, it's coming on, it's coming on. Slowly but surely we're starting to get something. <laughs> Slowly but surely. So that's sort of like the, the eye, the eye. I want like a finer brush for the eye. Well, that one will do. It's kind of grey, isn't it? Yeah, it's about right. And it goes to there, to there, about there. And one eye's in a different place to the other. That one's more like there. Not bad, not bad, it's not bad, is it? We can always do better, always improve. I'm okay with that. I might not have done it, that bit in the right place. It's a bit far out. Far out, dude. It's closing the gap up a bit there. Bit there. 
like we need to start putting the gra grass, <laughs> the leaf, the leaf around the edge, and then we can see the colours all together, and that will uh, help us. That's what I'm thinking at this point. So I could do with this my favourite brush. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I had to really concentrate to get to this point. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Just painting malarkey. It's not bad what I've done. It's not perfect. It's not bad though. So we need to get this green. It's a uh, very sappy, sappy, sappy green. <laughs> Green, sappy, about some green, bit of yellow, bit of white, I think. There's a tiny bit of blue in it. And there we go. And then we can start filling this in. And then cleaning things up a little bit. And uh, Quite light enough, is it? Some of this green in. It's not exactly the same, but really up first, to be honest. Just want a, uh, a green outline. Happy bug on, happy ladybug, ladybird. It's one healthy looking ladybird enjoying the sunflowers and all the black fly that lives on them. I saw it hop along onto the nasturtiums as well. And I know there was a black fly on there because I saw it. This area needs to be a bit darker. More, more of this sap green in it. shape it's bad. I think it is anyway Okay. 
Dark in this bit here. up in here and the lagging sort of there taking a while just to fill in this green isn't it I don't know even though how long I've been painting this hopefully I think we've yeah we've done about an hour so it's not too bad what it was gonna say two days <laughs> no, an hour's all right. I don't mind doing hour long videos of me painting because if it means I'm doing a good picture, something interesting, then it's all right. I don't mind. <laughs> oh man. I do like to give myself challenges, don't I? This is quite a challenge of a picture, I have to say. Let's get some of that light in there. Straight my 
the vein. Okay, that will do for that. Now it's all about um, just improving the shape of things like, oh, not the white, not the white. Let's wipe the brush. Chip. Chip. I like that. Uh, Where's it going to be more that? Okay. Yeah, that's about right. And this needs to be more there, doesn't that? It's got some of that black. Uh, yeah. Uh, some less light, I think, and that's uh. Do that. Sitting back, having a look. These, these bits on the wrong black. Yeah, that's all right. I quite like that. It's quite a good shape to it. So it almost, almost looks correct. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Just a bit of that colour. Just to uh, put that in there. Now I need a bit of a yee. Colour is that? Sort of an orangey, yellowy colour, isn't it? Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it just needs a bit of like yellow, card yellow, I think. Oh, my palette is such a mess. <laughs> yeah, let's put a bit of card yellow in. So hopefully. Put in these bits of colour and then uh, we'll have a final look and see. This is about about right. It's probably slightly too yellow, but yeah, it needs yeah, browning off a bit for this.
remove the yellow just to get this bit of no yellow. <laughs> get that bit there. Bit of the front. sitting back having a look see what you've done see if it looks all right yeah, a little bit of brown get that leg bit in there and you can just about see another leg there do on the end of that okay sitting back having a look I want a little bit more like that okay I'm quite happy with that I'm I like the way it looks quite happy with that and there's the other these bits here Go blip 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 Okay, that's okay. This bit. Oh. I want to make that a little longer. Getting a bit too picky now, probably. 
to the point where I could probably say this is done because otherwise <laughs> I'll do my usual trick and never finish. I'm just going to put these little bits of red in on the uh, outer bit and then I think we'll have to call this call this a bug. <laughs> going around the edge and just bringing some of the black in. Got some red on my brush as well. Just brings it together a bit, gets rid of that. Solidness, make it more similar. Uh, notice that the uh, that leg is, it needs to be darkened a little bit, so I'll just darken that a bit. There's a bit more yellow in it as well. I think we're uh... <laughs> oh well since we just dropped the brush I think we'll call this one so as always you go like this you go we won't be needing this <laughs> you put it over here you realize I've actually, uh, I've just realised I've missed a bit out the bottom there. So let's just put a bit of green in there. Okay. And then we can go, oh, I enjoyed this one. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one too. And I hope you'll. Uh, See, watch these. Damn, just got rid of some of them. The leg, the leg, you just got rid of a leg. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope it uh, made you realize you can do an easy, uh, <laughs> an easy painting like this in an hour. And you'll, uh, look at it and go oh i could improve that i could improve that i could improve that as i do all the time i'm always thinking oh i could do this i could do this I could do this because even now i'm looking at the shell part and i'm thinking well that should be really a straighter line there so maybe it should go to there and that should come down like that but you've got to get to a point where you think you know looks like the ladybird it's pretty close it's maybe it isn't perfect but i'm happy with it so i'll say thanks very much for watching this episode and uh see you at another one cheers bye <laughs>